Hello, welcome to Flat4 Education. I'm here to help you get started on our platform. In this video, you'll learn how to add other users to your organization and classes. Go to People and click on Add People. You can synchronize a class using your LMS, such as Google Classroom. This will automatically create users in Flat4 Education for your students. In case you don't use an LMS, you have two options to add your students. First, you can send them an invitation link or code. You just need to copy the link or code and paste it. Otherwise, you can manually create the users for your students by importing a CSV file or by clicking on Add User. Enter their information, set a password, and click on Add. You can do this for all your students and then click on Create Accounts. The email address is not mandatory. If your students do not have an email address, they can access the platform with the username and the password you created for them. Regarding other teachers and administrators, you can invite them to join via email. Type their email address and they will receive your invitation. To add a user to a particular class, go to that class and click on People. By the way, you can directly create your student's account by adding them to your class following the same steps we just discussed. Or, if the user is already registered, click on Add Existing People from your school to your class, look for the user and add them to your class. If you need to change the role of an existing user, you can do it by going to People Look for the user, click on the three dots icon, click on Change Role, choose the role and save the changes. The last thing I'm going to show you in this video is how to remove users from your organization. By the way, you can reassign the seats as wanted. This means if a student no longer needs the platform, you can delete their account to assign the license to a new student. Another important detail is that a user only needs one license to join as many classes as they want in Flat4 Education. So, go to People, search for the user you want to remove, click on the three dots icon and click on Delete Account. By following these steps, you can also reset their password or edit the account. Bear in mind that if you synced a Google Classroom class, you need to delete that class first and then delete the users in our platform. Due to the integration with Google Classroom, if you do not follow these steps, our platform will recreate your students' accounts. To sum up, first, delete the class you synced with Google Classroom. Then, delete the users who no longer need our platform. Guess what? Your students and colleagues can start enjoying Flat for Education now. See you in the next video. Bye!